President Donald Trump still claims he won the election. President-elect Joe Biden calls that an embarrassment and says nothing will stop the transition of power when Trump's term ends in January. But as Jackson Prosco reports, the transition could be turbulent. Mr. Vice President, is it time to concede? Despite clearly losing the election, President Donald Trump's team is working overtime to discredit the results. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching. Trump's Secretary of State suggested defying the will of voters. Have you congratulated Vice President Biden yet? While Republicans insisted Trump is right to challenge Joe Biden's victory. Until the Electoral College votes, anyone who's running for office can exhaust concerns about counting no reason for alarm. The Trump administration is still blocking any attempt at transition and stopping agencies from cooperating with Biden. I think it will not help the president's legacy. The rest of the world seems to have moved on. Leaders are lining up to engage with the president-elect, including Trump allies like Turkish President Erdogan and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. I look forward very much to working with President Biden. Thank you, sir. Exactly four years ago, outgoing President Obama invited then-president-elect Trump to visit the White House. Because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. Trump's defiance today is unprecedented. So is his relative silence following the election. Instead, he's tweeting up a storm about unfounded claims of election fraud that he has yet to prove, while launching lawsuits that are not supported by evidence. Jackson, there's obviously a real push to try to keep the Trump brand alive, even though he lost. There are lots of theories about why he wants to hang on, and many of them involve money, right? That's right, Donna. In fact, the Trump campaign has been bombarding supporters with emails soliciting money to help with what they say is a court fight against the election. In reality, though, when you read the fine print, it points out that the majority of that money is actually going to be used to retire Trump's campaign debts. Donna? All right, Jackson Prosco in Washington. Thank you.